Sega's arcade machine division have produced the greatest arcade games in the history of the world, bar none. This is their base in Tokyo. It's so exclusive and so secretive that only three Western journalists have ever been in this building, and none of them have returned. With titles like Daytona, Virtua Fighter, Mike's TT, Virtua Cop and Gunblade to their name, Sega's arcade division is quite literally the Melinda Messenger of the Sega Empire. And blow me if there isn't a fine selection of quality arcade games here. I've obviously quite literally come to the right place. The division is grouped into various departments, AM1, AM2 and so forth. Assistant director of AM3 is 25-year-old Mr Yamasta. What is it that makes the Sega arcade division and, and the teams the best and most respected in the whole world? At Sega, we're all massive games fans, and over the years we've developed a unique set of programming skills. Also, our development time is not limited, so we can spend as long as we like ensuring that every game is absolutely perfect. Is there any rivalry? between uh, yourselves and the AM2 and AM1 teams? Well, a little, but it's healthy competition, and it's why, as a company, Sega is better than the others. The latest AM department is AM Annex, their first title touring cars you saw earlier. Head of development is the man who produced Sega Rally, the cool Tetsuya Mitsuguchi. We're trying to produce a more realistic style of gaming experience. A video game is a combination of imagination and reality. But before you can let your imagination go, you have to study reality. For touring cars, we spent months studying real race tracks, taking hundreds of photos, recording all the sounds and doing tons of research. I don't think any of us got much sleep. Barely boring. Surely there must be some compensations for working at the world's leading arcade developers. One final question. Kono uh, Shigatono o Kagede on Anoko Karo Motomata. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Because I'm so busy, I rarely have opportunities to meet people. In fact, many times we spend the night here in the office. We sleep under tables or on desks. Everyone sleeps wherever they like. It's crazy. And this is the result of all the hard work. You too can get yourself a Corvette Stingray, one of the classiest production cars in history. You're working so hard you never get the chance to drive the thing, but it does make a very nice paperweight.